Hello everybody, welcome back to my vlog, to my channel. And today I'm going to do this sort of bit of an unboxing. The reason why I'm going to do it is because there's a bit of information on here that I, I want you to know about this particular item. Well, it's already in the description, this particular amplifier. And it's one of those things, you know, you've got to be careful sometimes what you're buying and where are you getting it from? How am I going to get in this? Oh my god. The box has got me styled. Um, now, this was a recommendation of somebody. Somebody who I'd only seen them once popped onto my channel. And they said to me, hey, have you tried this? It's got a really good... Um, really good output. You know, the, the distortion levels are very low and it looks like a really good amplifier. And they, sh they showed me a little bit of video and it showed a low distortion. It's a CD bag, brilliant, reusable. They showed me the distortion level and uh, I thought, oh, wow, that looks pretty good in actual fact. That competes with the um, Simon, with the um, L12-2. I say L12-2, so that's what it's done. I don't know if there are any other L12. I like the way it's packed. Nicely, bubble wrap. Oh, nice. Wow. All right, so. Yep, just checking. It's to make sure it's the right board, and you'll see why. Um, I'll do that in a moment. That oh, looks nice. Looking at the back, no pandas on the back, no branding as such. Oh, what's this say? It says here we got the X1 SYM 5 3 power amplifier. All right, and there we have it. And so, oh, it's got it written there as well. That's nice. Oh, 2.2 .2 microfarad to 10 microfarad on the inputs. Uh, what we got here? MJL 4302, MJL 4302, so the complementary should be there to 4281. BD139, nice. MJE, wow, 150 33. They're not cheap. They're not cheap. Alright, so let's just have a little look at the parts. And they're not cheap, you know, not if you buy them over here anyway. That's for sure. Nice again. Nice again. I'm just looking at the backs of the transistors. See how nice and clean they are. I do like it when you get transistors and they're not, they're not looking like they've been left outside for however long. And these say Nichicon on them. Wow, well, they do, they say Nichicon. Oh, right. Oh, they're all kind of me impressed. Kind of me impressed. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of these here. Oh, really, so these are different colour. That's what I expected because when I show you thing these all say Nichicon and I've got no reason to believe that they're not that they're not um, we'll stick them with an ESR meter and have a look I might do that on the actual build thing uh, these are nice as well so our higher wattage resistors they're all uh, one percenters or at least they're, they're the metal types Mm. That means that we can adjust the bias. Uh, sorry, the bias. Um, the um, the um, uh, the quiescent current. I'm hoping. The coils are nice. They don't look deformed or anything like that. Now this is something that I was interested in because this said that these would be Weimar, and they are Weimar. 
the 3.3 microfarads. The other, these ones don't look like they're Weema because Weema uh, have them stamped on there generally, but still, no, that's all good. We've only got a couple of these little things. I'm not really liking these ceramics, but I suppose it might depend where it goes. It could just be for. I don't know, stabilizing, uh, stabilizing some oscillation or something somewhere. Let's have a look. Uh, and then we got a whole bunch of resistors. They do look like you can see the color bands on them nicely. I've had resistors before where the color bands looked broken up and all sorts. Not very good. But to be honest with you, I'm quite impressed with these transistors so far. These are the BD. Uh, I've got to take these out just because I've got to have a look. I've got to have a look. And this is going to be then. Oh, I need to bring my light down and look. Right, that's a C4793. That isn't an MJE. 15032, that's for sure. That's another one of those. Well done. Nope, that's an A 1837. So, some of this is going to be BD139. Mm, yeah, I don't know about those. Uh, these are different as well. What they're supposed to be. This is a Toshiba TTC 5200. It says Japan on there and stuff, so you know that's quite warming, but it's not what it says on these. Look those up, nice and heavy. I do like that, that's nice and heavy. Uh, yeah, so there, there are a little bit of differences as to what's going on here. Um, whether these will be the Phillips. The 5401. Triple 5 ones. And these look like they've just been pulled out of cheap packs. It's 5446 BC 546. Ficus or something. I'm sure I've got some proper Philips uh, ones of these. So yeah, some of these transistors are different. All right, but then again, so are the capacitors. Let's look at the uh, let's look at the screen. Let's uh, let's get off this a bit. Let's uh, I'll take a peek at the screen. Now this is what I want to show you first, because if you were going to go and buy this. Um, because I said, hey, this Sima Sim 5-3 power amplifier two times 100 watt uh, which would be this that i'd be talking to you about uh is good because we've put it on the meter and everything you thought oh here uh, i i found one what i tell you now is that this is not it is saying that it, that's what it is but it's not what it is and uh it's cheaper than what i paid for it finished board 37 pound there look and you would be wondering to yourself, well, is that the same? And I'll tell you now, the description, and we're going to go on this, PCB specification, 180, 69, 1.6, which is what this is. That's the size of this. But as you can see here, it's 138, whoops, 138 by 50. So there's differences so far. Now the bit that I'm a bit not talking about is because you look down at specifications and you think, look at this look, distortion, THD, not THD in noise, but THD, 0.002% into one kilohertz at full power. My cat is deciding to go uh, investigating into a box that I, <laughs> that I shut up because it's got other boxes and stuff in there that are going to go out and recycle them. He says, right, now he's going to start picking all that apart. Excellent. And then, uh, and that's a one kilohertz th full power. And then THD is 0.005% into 10 kilohertz 
full power. So that sounds pretty darn good, right? Um, and yeah, you can see where here it says about the outputs and stuff there, what it says on here, slightly. Um, yeah, but never mind, right? So all that description is basically just copied and pasted from this one, which is exactly the same uh, written here as what's on the other screen. This is what I bought. Um, so we've got two times 100 watt power, yeah. And it's the same board. And this is what we're gonna have. I told you that the capacitor is a different color. Look, the Nichikan, these are whatever these are. Uh, but all this other stuff is, you know, pretty much basically the same. So just be careful if you did go off this, if we did, when we do this, and if it does turn out to be pretty good, and it's a single board layout, so you can just get a nice big heat sink for it. At 200 watts being put out on the big heat sink, you want to make sure that you've got a big, a good heat sink for it, or radiator. Uh, yeah, on here, it, the fibbing's here. Dual channel, 100 watt per channel. So just be careful. Just be careful. I just thought I'd put that out because I think it's worth saying. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna build this thing up and we're gonna test it. I may not be able to get it done today because I have a visitor going around very, very shortly. And I know that they want to try a drink, but I will be looking these up and just comparing them against what's here because these are supposed to be good for 250 volts. Not that you're gonna need it and the what's written here. What's written here because I've already looked them up. Uh, 15 amp uh, between the uh, collector and emitters. So we know there's a nice big swing uh, and that should be pretty good. Uh, like I say, on my um, on one of the amps I built, which is from the ESP website, and I did you know, the whole thing myself on Perth board, that uh, can use one uh, MJE 15032s. They're not cheap. They're not cheap, but again, they're, uh, I mean, they're 150 volts. These are for the drivers, you see. But anyway, these are for the drivers, and they're not cheap. So it's going to be interesting. Interesting little build. Put it together, see what it does, see what it sounds like. Uh, but we'll look at it mathematically first. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.